This is Q tone. It's a quantizer that transforms voltages into musical notes. It has two channels that can be selected by these buttons. Each channel has a dedicated input for any kind of CV as well as quantized outputs and trigger inputs for sampling and holding incoming CV signal. Both channels can be modulated through two CV inputs that are freely routable in the CV menu. I will talk about this later. In scale mode, we can select a scale with the encoder for the current active channel. It is also possible to set a common scale for both channels by pressing both buttons simultaneously. To edit a scale or to set a new one, press the active channel button again, so now you are in edit scale mode. Rotate and program desired nodes with the encoder. Press the channel button again when finished. So, let's start making music. I will connect an output of channel 1 to the voltage per octave input on the plates module. The input will be connected to the LFO from crate. You can hear the arpeggio starting, playing a bit swingy. In order to make it more straight, let's feed some triggers from the dot into the trigger input. A note change will now only happen when incoming trigger is received. That helps to make the sequence more beat matched. Also a nice thing to do is to take triggers from a stack cable and duplicate them into the plate's trick input. From now its internal envelope will start to control the VCA. The one level menu that can be entered by pressing the encoder. By rotating the encoder we can select and edit one of four parameters. For example, this is a glide parameter. This is an offset parameter. It shifts incoming CV signal. We can hear its influence better if I lower the amplitude on the incoming LFO. And the last one is a transpose where we can transpose our sequence by semitones. So I will leave it like it was before and rise the amplitude back again. Let's add a second voice, an Erika bassline in this case. I will connect triggers from dot with Q-tone first and then duplicate those triggers to the Erika's VCA envelope. Then connect Q-Tone's output to the voltage per octave input. I think I would like to transpose it one octave higher. In order to change the scale, I can rotate the encoder. Now I will take a second output from Crate and send it to a second input of Qtone.
Changing scales is also really fun via the CV input. The CV input menu is simple. Press the CV button to enter it and to select between two CV inputs. Here you can select the destination for the CV for the four parameters represented by icons. After pressing it a second time, you can attenuate the modulation. You can select to either send the CV to one or both channels. For example, CV input 2 here is sent to both channels controlling the scale parameter, which is represented by this piano icon. Now I will put a wire into the CV input and connect its other end to the Metamorph's output, which will send a four-step sequence. Now you can see how the scales are changing every time the sequencer is advancing. So the fun begins. Let's add some drums. I will use my favorite chord drum for this. Some extra chord spices here. Adding some glide to the arpeggio. Offsetting a bass line a bit. Nice. It is also possible to edit scales on the fly. By pressing and holding the encoder button, we can initialize the scale to one note to the C in this case. Let's randomize the progression a bit by changing the sequence on the metamorph. That's it! Have fun with the Q-Tone Quantizer!